Hello everyone. In our previous video, we implemented the Jira client. In this video, I am going to discuss how to use the Jira client. So this is the scenario that we are going to automate. Using the Jira client, first we will log in inside the Jira application. Then we are going to create the project by sending the post request to this endpoint. After that, we are going to retrieve the information about the created project by sending the get request to this endpoint. To create the project, this is the request payload that we need to associate with the request. And for the request payload, I have already created the model class in our project. And this is the model class. So let us start with the implementation. In the directory that is Jira application, I am going to add a new test class. And let me call it as test create project. Inside this class, I am going to create some variables. Then I'm going to create the setup method to initialize these two variables. I am going to initialize this variable with the instance of the Jira client class. Then we are going to initialize the REST API executor variable. And then I'm going to invoke the login method to login inside the Jira application. When we are calling the login method, we need to specify the metadata for the user. So let us create a concrete implementation for the iJira user interface. Inside the same namespace where we have Jira client class, I am going to add a class for the admin user. This class is going to implement the iJira user interface. Inside this class, I'm going to create two properties for storing the username and password. And then I'm going to create the constructor to initialize these two properties. The caller of this class need to specify the username and password that will be used for login inside the Jira application. And then I'm going to pass the instance of this class in the login method. After this, I'm going to create the teardown method. In this method, we are going to log out from the Jira application by calling the logout API and then dispose the Jira client.
then I'm going to create the test method. In the implementation of the test method, following are the steps that I'm going to perform. First, create the request body using the model class. Then create the post request using the post request builder class. Then create the request command and set the command on the API executor. Then execute the request and add the validation on the response status code. Extract the project key from the response. Create the get request using the get request builder class. Create the request command and set the command on the API executor. Execute the request and add the validation on the response status code. The Jira client class indirectly implements the iClient interface and that is why I can pass the instance of Jira client class as an argument to the request command class. So once the post request is successful, the response status code that we are going to receive is 201. Once the request is successful, this is the response that we are going to receive. In the response, there is a key property using which we can extract the project key. To extract the project key from the response, I am going to parse the response and use the JSON path to extract the value for the project key. While specifying the context path to the get endpoint, I am also appending the project key that we extracted from the response of the post request. Once the get request is successful, we will receive 200 as a response status code. Let me put the debug point inside the test method as well as inside the login and logout method of the Jira client. 
and then run the script in a debug mode. So we are inside the login method of the Jira client. Let us look at the user object. So this is the user object that contains the metadata about the user. We are using the post JSON API for login inside the Jira application. Behind the scene, this API is going to perform following set of operations. First, it is going to create the instance of REST request of type POST, then serialize the given object into the JSON representation, send the POST request, and deserialize the response into the given type. So once we have the session information, we are going to associate that information in the form of cookie with the client. Then we parse the response to get the project key. And this is the project key. After that, we created the get request. And the get request is also successful. Let us look at the response of the get request. So this is the information about the project that we created. And in the end, we invoke the logout method, which is going to send the delete request for terminating the created session. So in this manner, you can use the Jira client. Now I'm going to log in inside the Jira application from the browser to verify the project that we created by invoking the REST API. So this is the project that we created by invoking the REST APIs.